Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Julie Mann. I'm also known as the Habit Fixer and I love helping women over 50 to enjoy amazing health and well-being and self-confidence. And I do that with EFT, which is a simple tapping technique, nutrition, skincare and digital products. And I'm really delighted because my guest today is Chris Mansfield. Now you may have seen him before. Why is he on? Because he talks complete sense and he's also absolutely brilliant. And he today is going to talk about effective networking habits. And the reason you want to listen to him is because actually he is a professional networker. So over to you, Chris. Hi, Judy. Thanks for having me on again. How are you keeping? I'm keeping really well. Keen to hear your habits. <laughs> well, there's there's many and varied, but yeah. Um, I, th I think... Um, when talking to people, I've been doing this a lot recently, chatting to people about how they should go networking, the sort of things they should do. And I guess the thing that comes up quite regularly is um, getting a business to understand um, how networking actually works. Okay. And I think the fundamentals of that are, are fairly basic. A lot of people go networking where they, they think they're going to go there just to get business. They think, all they've got to do is turn up with a, a box full of business cards. And they, some people actually measure their success of going to a networking event by how many cards they've got rid of. And they think, oh, I've made 30 or 40 connections. And they go back quite chuffed with themselves, you know, without realising the bulk of those cards have probably gone straight in the bin um, because people don't like being sold to. So I talk to people about the basics of how networking actually works. And the first thing we have to remember is that believe it or not, not everybody actually wants what we do. Where you know, when a lot of people go networking and they think everyone might want what they do, so they go and hand out lots of cards. In actual fact, a lot of people don't want what we do. That's the first thing to remember. The second thing to remember is that even when people may need what you do, they may not want it right now. They may need to get to know you better. But as and when they do need what you do or they meet someone else which is really key that wants what you do then they need to be able to think of you first and that's when the habits start to come in so in terms of good habits then first and foremost networking is a slow burn so you have to be regular you have to go to events on a regular basis and be consistent find three or four events maybe groups that you really enjoy going to because if you don't enjoy it, it's not a lot of fun. It really can be a bit of a ball ache if you don't enjoy networking. A lot of people actually hate it. So find three or four groups that you like and you enjoy going to. Then you turn up regularly, be consistent, try not to, to, to miss them in the future if you can. Try to be memorable. That's another good habit. And that isn't necessarily by wearing a dark uniform or standing on a chair and shouting from the rooftops, but just be likeable, be memorable. Uh, and and likeable is really important because very often that's just a case of being positive and smiling. And because people remember people that smile, you know, if you're having a bad day, it's probably best not to go networking with it because people will equally remember that. So your habits there are be consistent, be regular, be likeable, and be memorable. Those are four really important habits for any event that you go to. Wow, brilliant. I love that you talked about enjoying yourself and having fun and smiling actually not only, I mean, people like to approach people who are smiling, don't they? But also it makes us feel good. Smiling actually releases endorphins, so it makes us feel good. So that's brilliant. But also you talked about business cards and I wanna ask you a question, Chris. So do you think it's important to have a business card? And um, at, when you're at a networking meeting, do you connect with someone on a particular platform there and then if you've had a great conversation? Or how do you, you know, what do you do? I tend to uh, rely, rely on LinkedIn for good connections. Um, going back to your first question about the card, I think it's essential that you've got your contact information on you. Because there's nothing worse than saying to somebody, you know, oh, can I have your contact details? Have you got a business card? And they go, well, no, I haven't. 
Um, and then you go, well, I, okay, are you on LinkedIn? Yeah, I'm on LinkedIn. And then you go to try to find them. Um, it could be in some ladies' cases, they've changed their name, they've been married, they've got their maiden name on there. That's a tricky one. Or more commonly, which is a, a, a shout out to everybody that is on LinkedIn, go and check your profiles. Because very often when I connect with people on LinkedIn, you find that their contact email on there is a personal one and not their business one. So it'll be julieman at google.com or something like that rather than the actual business address. So um, I would implore people to go onto their LinkedIn profiles today and check that their email address is the one they actually want people to connect to them with. Um, so yeah, if, if you haven't got a card, that's fine, as long as your contact details are there. What's really good nowadays is people feel rather than carrying around a big box of business cards, they just have one, but it's got a QR code on there with all of their contact details, or it might QR code might go to their LinkedIn profile, whatever it may be. Um, and people seem to connect by phone. Um, and on your when you go to your LinkedIn profile, if you look at your own LinkedIn profile on your phone, in the search bar there's a little emblem on the right-hand side. And if you click on that, it brings up your QR, your own QR code that you can then swap with people on the mobile phones. That's a good habit to get into. And that sort of alleviates the need to carry loads of business cards around with you. And saves all those trees. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Chris, thank you so much. I've learned a number of things there that I really need to go and implement. So thank you ever so much so if if all of you watching are really grabbed by what chris has said and you want to hear more check out his links which will be down below this video mine will be there too and all there is for me to say chris is thank you so so much for sharing those gems you're more than welcome anytime and thank you ever so much everyone else for watching